Jeff Saturday's not happy with his football team, and he's got good reason to not be happy. He's frustrated, he's angry, and it's not just because of the loss. It's because of the response of Nick Foles' teammates or lack of response to Kayvon Thibodeau's attack on Nick Foles. Good for Jeff Saturday. Says he's going to have a talk with his team. I think it's long overdue. Uh, I have a tough loss yesterday, disappointing, and uh, just talked to the team about finishing on a positive note. Got one more opportunity, got to make the most of it, and uh, so we're, we're, we're moving to that. All right, Nate Atkins. Hey, Jeff, got a couple for you here. Just first off, do you have an update on Nick Foles, just how he's feeling right now? Uh, yeah, Nick's uh, really sore, obviously, in the, uh, the whole side of his body. And, um, yeah, obviously he, his, uh, he took a massive shot there, landed on the ball. And uh, so a lot of pain. And uh, I, he, he, he'll be down this week. Okay. And uh, we asked yesterday about that hit, but uh, one thing we didn't get into was Kayvon Thibodeau's celebration doing the snow angels on the field. I was just curious how you felt about that and – um, just as a as a coach and a former lineman, do you, do you wish you, your own lineman had maybe done a little bit more in that moment to either protect Nick or get him off, or just what are your thoughts of that whole situation? Yeah, tasteless uh, from the from the celebration afterwards. Just you know, trash. Not a fan of it at all. Um, and uh, yeah, disappointed uh, from 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 the O line perspective, or and for teammates in general. We protect our own man. We um, I mean, y'all know me, man. I've, I've been here a long time. So, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to tread lightly. I, obviously I didn't like it at all. And that's where I'll leave it. Greg Doyle. That was kind of my question, but I'll ask you another one. Are you going to talk to them about that? Besides they might read this in the print. Are you going to let them know that can't happen anymore? Yeah, we'll have a discussion about it. Thank you. Mike, Mike Chapel. Jeff, obviously, but with with Nick down, is Matt back up, or will you go? Will you stick with Sam, or have you decided what you're doing at quarterback? Yeah, I'm gonna go with Sam, uh, Chap. I'm a, Sam's gonna be our guy. I was uh, I was happy with the way he played yesterday when he came in. Um, you know, didn't do everything perfect, but I thought his energy was good. I thought uh, he he worked the ball down the field. And and in all fairness to him, at the end of the game, we just you know we 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 kind of pulled off knowing where we were and uh, only one quarterback you know healthy, so to make sure we kind of protected him for for this week with Matt being down. So, uh, but but I thought that that he was aggressive and and attacked the field. Uh, and so yeah, it'll be it'll be Sam this week with with Matt backing up. James Boyd. That was my question, so I'm good. Kevin Bowen. Jeff, if Sam would have gotten hurt in the second half on Sunday, who would you have gone to? Oh, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into who it was, but we had, we had already had a plan. We had discussed that um, before and, and we discussed it at halftime and uh, knew, knew which way we were going, you know, wristbands prepared, kind of the whole deal that you get ahead. So yeah, we have a guy, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put it out there. But yeah, we had a plan. Bob Kravitz, Jeff. In the seven, eight weeks that you've been doing this, what are the biggest lessons that you've learned about this position? Biggest lessons. Um, I'm a. I'm a. Yeah, I'm not. I, it, not a losing sucks. I am not a fan of where we are as, as uh, you know, we have, we have not done as well as I had hoped. I knew it was going to be hard. Um, I knew we were going to be challenged in a lot of areas, but the frustration doesn't change. I feel bad for the players, man. These guys, you know, they fight and um, work each week. And obviously the results aren't good. And so, we, we, you know, trying to finish off strong. But, you know, when you talk about lessons, I'll have more time when the season's over to reflect. Uh, but obviously, you know, from an offensive perspective, that's probably been my largest frustration. And when you're, you know, when you're undermanned from a coaching staff perspective, and then it's not, you know, it's showing up on offense and and you're seeing it. And, and again, these coaches are putting in the maximum amount of time and energy and effort, but it doesn't show on the field. There's uh there's frustration there. So uh, I'd be lying if I told you, I, I go home, you know, feeling good about it. I, it frustrates the daylights out of me and, and uh, you know, 
that's that's where we stand. The record is what it is. Um, we've played some close games. We've done all those kinds of things. That's that's uh, that's neither here nor there, right? The record is what it is, and trying to change it and get another win in the, under this thing. But frustrated. But as far as like overall lessons, Bob, I, I, I won't even think about that until after the season. If I can follow up real quick, being undermanned in the coaching on the coaching side, how does that manifest itself on the field of play? Um, I, I think just from uh, from uh, being able to, to to find different ways, being able to attack defenses in different ways. Again, when you think about all the different phases of an NFL game, whether that's four minute, backed up, two minute, you know, red zone, tight red, back, you know, it, it, however you want to break down how you do it offensively. Um, there, there's a lot of different pieces and parts as you're putting a, a game plan together. And so you have to limit the amount of plays you can put in there if you only have so many people or how much time is going into each section. So I would tell you when you're, when you're trying to get your game prepped and defenses decide to play you a certain way or a different way, you know, as you're going down the scroll, um, that's the that's the part that becomes difficult. So uh, again, it's not an excuse, Bob. It's it's reality, and and uh, that's where we are. And, and no, no, you know, nobody nobody's going to feel sorry for you. I don't expect it. Um, I really don't care. At the end of the day, I'm frustrated that it's not better than it is, and and uh, I'd like to see better results. And we just it just hasn't hasn't happened that way. Thanks, Jeff. All right, last one, Zach Kiefer. Jeff, kind of on that same note. When I've talked to head coaches in the past, they've always said that it's such a big step from an OC or DC job, right? There's nothing that really prepares you. Your situation was very different. You've talked about how hard this was going to be from the beginning. Has this humbled you in terms of jumping right into the top job or was it what you expected? No, and I told you this last night, Zach. I mean, I, this is what I expected. I mean, from a from a difficulty perspective, listen, man. There's uh, you could look throughout the league. There's been guys who've been coaching a long time, great coordinators, and they've won three games, four games, five games, whatever it is, right? One game. I mean, so you know, my, my length of whatever, uh, I, I don't I don't assign to the, the the struggles. I mean, like you said, people talk about it all the time, and I can't tell you how many coaches have come to me after each game or called me personally and had discussions about like you said they all of them say I wasn't prepared for this or I'm, I was working to get prepared for this or I'm learning on the job for this um and so no I I knew it was going to be difficult and and it, you know all, all the preparation in the world that people are talking about I don't have or whatever that looks like um you, you know the, the 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 coaches who have been there forever the, the records could still be the same so I, I don't think the record is indicative of of that it's the it's the process and trying to get this thing uh, on the right track man and that's the, that's the frustration for me because ultimately it comes down to putting the players in the best chance to win. Um, and, and that's what we're trying to get done. And unfortunately we haven't done enough of it. That's Jeff Saturday, Jeff Saturday, venting a little bit, a little bit raw assed. And I like that side of Jeff Saturday. I wish we saw more of it. Maybe we'll see more of it this week. That team, that Colts team has got something to prove this weekend, or I think everybody's on the block and there's nobody who is above answering for what this season has been and what the response or lack of response of the Nick Foles attack was yesterday by Kayvon Thibodeau.